Hey, I'm Steve here, and we're back with another Survival Saturday. Today, I have three more products to review. Uh, the first product I'll be reviewing is the Life Straw. I want to see if I can get acclimated on how to use this out in the wild and see if I can get a fresh water source without bringing water from somewhere else or boiling it and so on. The second item I'll be reviewing is a K-Bar tactical fork. We'll see how this performs. We'll see how it works out out here. And then I have two more packet gourmet meals that I talked about. The one is dinner, and that is the Texas State Fair Chili that I want to check out. And then for dessert, I'll have strawberry cheesecake. So let's get a real test on these items and see how they perform. One of the biggest challenges off the bat is um, actually laying next to the water source with the straw and trying to get a good point without getting wet. Um, so it's kind of a con. It'd be better just to get a container, fill it up, and then purify it from there, which I'm looking for that. But let's go ahead and give the straw a shot. You're supposed to place it in the water, let it sit, and then uh, draw water from it. And when you're done drinking, you're just supposed to blow it back out so you're getting all the contaminants back out. So I'm gonna let it sit in the water and drink it up. Taste is a little, a little weird, but I don't know if it's all in my head. But it works good. I'll give you a sample. I got a pitcher of uh, dirty water and then some filtered water. But I really want to get a pump for this. Blow the contaminants back out. We're done. Now that we uh, tested the life straw, we're moving on to the next product, which is going to be the packet gourmet. Um, we have the strawberry cheesecake that I'll actually get ready first because it only takes cool water and then I'll warm up the water for the um, chili. Now these ones are a little bit more descriptive. They have, um, I think, packets you have to actually take on them. Like this has ginger snap pecan crumble packet and natural items you got to take it out of it. So let's go ahead and open up, see what it looks like first. I'm really interested to see a uh, strawberry cheesecake dessert. I know the Mountain House have desserts as well, but I've never had those. So his, here's the uh, ingredient packet, and then there's supposed to be some, there it is, action tabs to get those out. And then once you get those out, you see it's actually pretty interesting. It's just like a powder, and it looks like with the strawberries. And they add three ounces of cold water and just let it sit. About three ounces there. And then we'll give it a stir with the tactical spork. And this uh, spork's actually not bad as far as length because I can actually get to the bottom of the packet without um, actually reaching too far in there. So that's good. And actually, want to get all corners mixed up nice and good. Get that uh, water just let it sit. And then once you get that in there, you're actually just supposed to let it sit, steep for 10 minutes. So we'll go ahead and start the water up. And once that's ready, we can actually put our ginger snap crumble on top of it. All right, while our water is boiling up real quick, we can talk a little bit about the K-Bar Tactical Spork. So um, this is a pretty nice spork. It's all in one use, and it also has a knife that's in there. This nice knife has a nice rigid edge. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be as good as a metal, but definitely holds up pretty good, and then it uh, got a nice edge on it as far as cutting. Uh, one thing that I can see is a lot of, like, because of this, there's a lot of stuff that could actually get stuck in there, and it's harder to disinfect or clean up. And then there's also some, like, portholes that have some stuff in there. But other than that, um, it's a, it's been really effective and useful out here. Like I said, it's pretty long. It's not as long as a, like, a longer spoon that you'd use in an MRE or anything like that, but it's still pretty good for its size. You Again, you want to be compact as possible out here. But... We'll use this to eat our meal today and uh, kind of see how it goes. The knife is a nice option um, to, for cutting them, but you know, it's, it's, it's a, I, th I think it's a really cool option. You don't see that very often, um, but they could have just done something with like a spork over here, similar to what I've seen on uh, other ones. Now that the water's boiling up, we'll go ahead and start getting this ready to go. So we got the Texas State Fair Chili. Open up the pork pouch. Again, it has a uh, same description as the strawberry cheesecake it actually has some packets there's uh, two total for the main there's actually a hot sauce I believe and some corn chips 
So open it up. You can see this is the packet. Has a, another oxygen tab that you have to take out of there. And then here's the hot sauce. It's Texas Pete hot sauce. It's pretty cool. And then make sure there's nothing in here. Here's another one. So just make sure and remove all these tabs out of there. This is actually a pretty hearty chili looking like. So that's really interesting. Let's go ahead and add our water from the uh, camping stove. This thing just boils water so fast. It says add about 12 ounces of water. And we'll let it steep for 10 minutes. Again, we'll use the uh, spork to get on the corners. Just really, really make sure you get out. And this freeze dried mains, you want to make sure you can get all the corners because sometimes they'll just bat and bunch up down there and you won't be able to get it out. Until you go to eat it, and then you get a nice crunchy bite or a dry bite from materials it had uh, gotten to as far as reconstitution. All right, so we're going to let that sit for 10 minutes, and we'll add our uh, toppings. The mains are almost cooked up, but I just want to show the package of the uh, Life Straw, give more, a little more details on that. So it removes 99.9999 uh, bacteria, E. coli, etc. Uh, removes 99.999 uh, protozoa, um, and then it filters 4,000 liters or 1,000 gallons, and then it meets U.S. EPA drinking water standards. And a, a lot of things that uh, it also came with a user manual but very simple you basically just place it into the stream drink it and you always got to be careful about getting the actual this piece this piece contaminated because you don't want any of that touching this because obviously you're going to kind of mess up the whole purpose of it so really uh interesting product and i think it worked pretty good so let's go ahead and get to this uh texas state fair chili it's been about 10 minutes we're going to add the toppings give it a mix real quick it's reconstituting really well it looks like a lot of if you look at it, it looks like a lot of um, fresh veg you know vegetables big chunks uh, really hearty chunks of the meat so i mean it's smelling fantastic it's smelling exactly what it states and nice fresh chili Right, we're going to add the packets, and then this is what I was talking about. As far as I had some chili or you know beef chili in the MRE recently, it was a 72 hour, and it was just ba basically just uh, sauce and meat with beans, and that was very very subtle. This has all that fresh vegetables, um, big chunks of meat, big big kidney beans, and then you can see everything. But now we're going to add even more texture to it because this is like a Got some corn chips, some cheddar cheese, and um, the hot sauce to really liven it up. I'm, I like spice, so I'm definitely going to add that. So we'll take the action tab by these. And we'll throw this on top of our main. It's kind of like a topping. And then we got the Texas Pete hot sauce we're going to be adding in. Fill her up, and once we get that, top it, and then um, basically it says dig in after that. So we're gonna give it a shot. Give it a quick mix, and it's looking, it's looking fantastic. And chili is one of my favorite foods, so I get kind of excited for chili. Get a mega bite going on because it's got everything right there. Hot sauce, corn chips, cheese, and the Texas chili. Now, I don't feel like I'm at, out in the wild eating some chili. I feel like I'm at home like uh, watching the Super Bowl. This is fantastic. It's almost like you go to like a chili cook-off, and you, this is one of the items you'd pull out, you know, from one of the, one of the people making it. Now, this stuff is great. I mean, the, the beans are very, very nice texture. The meat, very, again... It doesn't even taste like freeze dried at all. It's got big chunks of green pepper in it, the crunch from the corn chips and the cheese, and then the spice is perfect. It's got a really nice bite to it, but overall, this is probably. I had the breakfast from the packet gourmet, but this is the dinner portion, and that is, I'm telling you that right now, that's 10 out of 10. I'm a really big fan of chili, but when you can take the essence of like a, a slow, slow cooked chili or 
an actual chili out in the wild, that's huge. That's huge to me. So now we're going to get into the dessert, which is the strawberry cheesecake. I'm also a fan of strawberries. So I'm going to see it actually looks like a cheesecake now. It's really uh, quite solid. We're going to add the crumb to it. I believe this crumb is the ginger snap pecan crumble. Uh, I find it. And then again, it has a packet in there. You're going to want to take that out. And you're supposed to just place this right on top of that. We'll have a nice dessert. So the crumble. And get a megabyte of this. All right, so this is the strawberry cheesecake with the crumble on top. Dessert out in the wild. Wow, that's also fan very fantastic. So this is the thing. Everything I got for Packet Gourmet, it designed obviously for the wild and out in the field, but it tastes like you're at home. Like this, this dessert does not taste like you'd get something out in the wild. I mean, granted, you know, you get uh, your MRE cakes and stuff like that. They're really good. This legitimately tastes like a strawberry cheesecake. Um, with the crumble and everything like that, it's just fantastic. So, Packet Gourmet, Packet Gourmet Meals, just, they know how to do it as far as getting these uh, meals out on the go. Um, but let me go ahead and finish this up, and then uh, we'll talk more in Final Thought. Okay, so final thoughts on the three items I reviewed today. We'll start off with the Tactical Sport. It's Tactical Sports from K-Bar. It did everything I needed to do as far as eating the meals on the go. Um, it does has have a nice, nice function of the knife, which is really cool. The only downfall I would say is kind of its complexity it has some of the indents and like portholes or just holes in general on the on the item, including the knife itself, where it gets dirty and it's harder to clean. But aside from that, I give it a solid seven out of ten, um, just because it's going to do what it needs. It could be a little bit longer, um, but I I definitely will use it and have it on uh, hand in case I need it. All right, and the next item, we'll go ahead and review the. Packet Gourmet Meals. So the Packet Gourmet Meal will start off with the Texas State Fair Chili. Extremely impressed with this. Uh, the fact that it tastes exactly like a slow-cooked chili out on the go. Um, continues to impress me. This company continues to impress me with the amount of food they can put out as far as quality out in the field. Um, the strawberry cheesecake, again, Tastes exactly like a strawberry cheesecake you would get at a dessert party or something like that. It's very impressive. So both of these get 10 out of 10. Um, really enjoyable. The uh, biggest thing is, is I mean, everything I've gotten from them has been very high quality and the ingredients are high quality and I can appreciate that. So the final item is the Life Straw. So Life Straw worked out really well as far as giving me clean water on the go. Um, I would recommend anybody that doesn't have a Life Straw and, and, and their go bag or anything like that, to get one just because it will give you fresh water on the go from any um, water source. The um, only concern, like kind of cons about it was I had to lean way into a, a stream to get the water. You're gonna have to lay on the ground to get it. I know there are bottles that you can actually fill and they have the life straw in them that I wanna look at investing in next. As well as a pump where I could actually pump through this and get fresh water um, to a group of people if I needed to. But overall, all three products are winners. I'd say Life Straw, I'd give that a solid uh, 8 out of 10. Um, the bottle and all other applications probably would score higher because it'd be easier to use. That's all I got now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.